Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Yeah, it's kind of a weird angle. Well, yeah, you'll catch on in a minute. Anyways, I'd like to throw a plug out for Tom at Lesco. This is how your stuff shows up. And for you guys and girls purchasing radios. Now, I can't control everything once they are in the hands of the post office or FedEx. And I use the post office. And in the future, near future, it's going to be strictly UPS. But I can't control that. But what I do, and I can control to a point, and so does Tom, is how everything is shipped to me, the radios that you purchase. Tom has been in this over 30 years. Now, at certain points in my life, I used to either live near a supplier, which was intentional, or I've used UPS hubs. People say, oh, he's got a weird address. Well, no one cares about two-bit bullshit opinion. Stick with the facts. See, like as a professional new and used freight relocating engineer, you know, I was a truck driver for a while. And you learn a lot of unique things. Don't piss off the truck driver for one if your freight's in the back. <laughs> well, this freight goes from not too far from here, sometimes overnight. So when I'm saying it's going to take two weeks, it's going to take two weeks or longer, and everything's getting even longer. Thank you. I'm very busy. But that doesn't mean I can work faster. All right? I know what you want. I show what you want. And anyways, let me get off of that. Let's get back into this. There's a procedure that I use. It comes straight to me to my door. Knock, knock, knock. All right? And you can see what kind of shape this is in. Tom has gotten on his pack or pack his shipping crew a couple of times. Let's see what we got going, Tom. And I'm sure it's going to be top notch. And I've learned not to bitch about the popcorn. And you might see your radio. It might be yours. It might not. Just have to bear with me. I'm going as fast as I can. I got to raise that up a little bit. Because uh, popcorn will go everywhere. But when you're opening the boxes, if you raise the lid like I have it raised right now, and keep it that way, the popcorn stays in. Let's see what we got here. Well, let me do this. Alright. I just picked this one up a minute ago. I'm gonna set you back down. Get these out of here. So it's just as important, if not more important, as to how the radios are received. And I know Tom can't control that either. Once we ship them out, I mean, we hope and pray and pray and hope that uh, it's the same drivers, the same people, etc. Oh, yeah, cool. They were in there. All in good shape. Let's see what we got here. I'll be calling you soon, Tom. I need a bunch more of those again. And, uh, and, uh, I know you've been waiting on this, Mr. Customer. Thank you for being patient. If there's anyone that really, really, really needs their stuff, please don't abuse it. Just tell me. Tell me, hey, get my shit done. I need it bad. You know, but if you're buying new, usually you're not in a hurry. And I have a little cycle for that for impatient people. I try not to deal with you, you know, if you want it overnight. Because it doesn't happen like that. Everything looks awesome. We'll be getting more real soon. I'll be talking to you soon, Tom. Everybody have a great night. And again, it is very important that you know how the radios are obtained. It really is. You don't want no secondhand stuff that was restocked, put back on the on the on the, the shelves, and then you get it. You know, where the shop gets it, and it's just a P POS. Very important. 
The CB world is a real strange place. Conducting business in it is like nothing else. I grew up in business. You might not think that, the way I conduct some of the things the way that I do, but I've been doing business a long time. It's just the CB business is a weird place. Hope some of this may have been educational. Have a great night. And if you're out there on those highways and byways, safety first, 163. By the Rio Grande, we're clear, click, click.